Hi guys, I'm back. And against my better judgment, I'm going to take the leftovers from the last painting and I've added a drop of silicone to each color. We're not using the black today. And uh, we're going to mix these up and make a, a quick pour out of them and see what we can get. Occasionally, I do get something super pretty with a metallic in a, a pour, but I don't know. Just most of the time, it just does not work out real well for me. So, we're just going to take our leftovers here and put some pretty layers down and hope that they come out kind of pretty. Try not to, and I do see some lumps. I don't know, I, I probably should have strained these before I started, but oh well. I hear, I believe I hear the ice cream truck again. It really is unbelievable to me that somebody is going around the neighborhood attracting kids to their vehicle and selling ice cream. Um, the person is not wearing a mask. Here we are in the middle of a pandemic and parents are letting their kids run out to this ice cream truck, which is not really an ice cream truck. It's somebody's van with some stickers on it. I don't know about you guys, but uh, I don't trust the neighborhood, um, you know, well enough to uh, send my kids out to a strange van peddling ice cream. That's probably about enough. But you can hear the uh, the music all the time. Always sets the, the dogs off barking. I just, I don't understand. You know, I mean, not only are you sending your kids out to a strange van, and a lot of these people, they just send their kids running out the front door. They don't know who's driving this van around. And, uh, you know, the kids will run around the back side of the van. You can't see them. I just, I don't, I don't understand America sometimes. I don't understand people. Why you would presume that something like that is safe. Just because when we were kids, you know, many, many years ago, uh, that sort of thing was, was probably, at least our parents thought it was safer, you know. I don't know. My kids don't go running out to the ice cream truck. At all. Ever, ever, ever. Nor will they ever, ever, ever. I trust people, but only to a certain extent. Which may sound a bit jaded, but there's just too many bad things that happen in the world. And right now, you know, you've got this pandemic going on. So not only are you sending your kids out to a strange person, you're sending them out to somebody who's not wearing a mask, who could be, you know, sick, or at least hurting this nasty virus around with them. Not my kids. I wouldn't even send my dogs out there. Okay, so we've got our corners covered. We've got two pretty cells there and a pretty cell there. So let's, <laughs> let's torch it and see if we can get something else to come up. Think that right there is a blob, so we're gonna have to get rid of that before we start pouring about out of silicone. I mean, silicone, I say that not out of silicone, uh, butane here. We can see some pretty stuff coming up, definitely need to refill my little uh tank there. So I'm gonna gotta move my light out of the way, it's just gonna go kind of dark for a minute. So I can get to my butane. I usually check that before. Beforehand, but not today. It is really empty. There we go. I haven't filled it in quite a while. Let's get our light back up. There we go. Okay, sorry guys. Ooh, look at the pretty we got going on here. Man, those are pretty. There we go. 
That's happier. Okay. Ooh, those are super, super pretty. Really pretty. Let's torch it a little bit more. Okay, there we go. So let's tilt. Uh, let's pour a little bit of probably, you know, whatever we've got the most of, which I think is going to be the silver. Just around the edges so we can, uh, you know, have a nice wet surface. We don't sort of run ourselves over the top of each other. The one thing about this paint I have realized, I don't know if it's when I'm mixing them with the two paints, but this, um, the, the pour paint and the two paints mixed together, when it starts to dry, and it does dry quite quickly, it's very sticky. I don't know if you've noticed my fingers keep sticking to the little cups, but this stuff is very sticky. It dries very quickly. So if you need to get it off of something, you better do it fast. Okay, there we go. Pretty cells going on. Man, those are pretty. Okay, let's make sure you guys are in focus. I don't want you to miss how pretty those cells are. <laughs> yeah, I think we are. All right, so let's get a corner catcher and see if we can't make a pretty painting. All right, so I really like this area here. I'd like to go off this side first, but it's so far from this corner. It, uh, Makes me a little nervous, but it is the by far the prettiest corner, and it, and this one is too. We're gonna go off this corner first. So very slowly. I really don't want to lose any of this gorgeous cells. That gold almost looks like a tangerine mixed in there, and I am super super slowly tilting this. Normally I'd tilt it a lot faster, but I really want to not lose as many of those cells as possible so we'll just go slowly you guys have a few minutes if you don't just fast forward to the good part although i really like watching through the whole tilting because you really see a lot of interesting stuff and i don't know anyhow i digress okay so back 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 and then we'll take it down. There we go. Make sure we get the whole canvas. Okay. There we go. All right. Oh, I don't want to lose any of this off this side, but let's let's take it off of this corner here because I do like to go back and forth. And I want to get rid of some of that silver. And we got some caterpillar cells going on here, so I'd really like to get rid of that. So we're probably gonna get rid of a lot of that corner there. There we go. Okay, that's good. Back to the center. We're gonna take it off of this corner. I see a blob. So we're gonna shove that off really quick. I think it's the silver that's leaving little blobs in the painting. Somehow didn't get that mixed in quite well enough. Well, I think we're going to leave off the corner catcher. There we go. And back the other way. Oop, we've got another blob. Man, these things are just everywhere. There we go. Even though it kind of messed up our little painting a little bit. off this corner. Okay, there we go. Oh, man. Ooh, that's, but it's so pretty. Look how pretty it is. Okay, I think that's it. We're gonna leave it. We're gonna leave it. Ooh, I like that one. I'm really bummed that it has a couple of blobs in it, but I'm going to pick those out and hopefully we won't destroy the cells too badly. Let's run a uh, torch over real quick. There we go. 
go. Okay. There's definitely a little one there, so we're going to shove that one off. I'll do that after I get off camera. Oh, look how pretty those cells are. Honestly, really didn't think this was going to work as well as it did. Let's see if we can hold it at an angle. You can kind of maybe see the uh, metallic. We'll take it outside when it's all dry, and we'll show it to you again like we did the other ones. But look how pretty those are. They really turned out nice. It's a pretty little patch back there. Look at those rainbow cells. Yeah, they turned out nice. I like this little painting. I hope you guys like it. Okay, there's your pretty for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this. This definitely turned out prettier than the last painting did. Um, yeah, I mean, this was a simple painting, but it turned out really, in my opinion, it turned out really pretty. I'm really happy about it considering I don't usually have really great luck with metallics, uh, you know, for this type of painting anyway. So I'm super happy with this one. I hope you guys like it as much as I do. And, um, you know, leave me some comments. If you guys are new to the channel, please subscribe and please, you know, hit the like and share buttons. That'll help my channel. And, um, you know, watch the ads for me. That really does. I know some of these ads are not really exciting to watch, but, um, it really does help out my channel. So thank you guys for those of you who actually watch the ads and, and support my channel in whatever way that you do. Again, uh, if you'd like to donate to my channel, you like what you see, you, you really you know appreciate the hard work I put in there, you can donate to my channel through my PayPal link below. And I hope wherever you guys are on the planet, you're happy and especially quite healthy at the moment protecting yourself and others, wearing your mask, and um, yeah, just staying safe. I love you all. See you later. Bye.